Welcome to a 3v3 replay commentary for BFME1 on the page 2.22. This time on the map, Harandor, between the White Isengar player, the White Hand Joker, his ally, the Green Mordor player, Gimli Dog 14. And at the top right, we have another Isengar player, Aslan Baba, with the color of blue. There, against the orange Isengar player, Fox. And Fox's ally on the left side is the red Rohan player, Legion. And his ally at the bottom left, the last player remaining, is Treebeard, also playing with the Isengard faction. And that is the first rush already, by the way. That's what the 3v3 is all about. Attack, push, and, you know, with the dream work of the teamwork, you can make stuff happen. As you can see, the Warchant and I saw a combination on the Uruks from Joker. They deal now 100% more damage, and they will burst and melt through this furnace in a single second. And the counter push is gonna happen with the Uruks, but remember there is no Eye of Sauron to support this one. Usually Mordor is extremely powerful in 3v3s, and that's gonna be also the case in this situation. But remember there are two Isengard players, and if they time it correctly in the lead game with the Freezing Rain, they can actually negate the existence of Mordor for a quite long duration. And by the way, we have another rush from the other Isengard player. And there comes Lourdes, but Lourdes will have a hard time dealing with all of these Uruks. No towering up, being a bit greedy, and he might lose two furnaces um, because of his greedness, okay? So, you know, the, the way the teamwork works in 3v3, 4v4, you usually get much, much, much faster money. All your structures will hit level 2 or level 3 way faster. And usually you will skip the rough early game in which you feel poor and get faster to the lead game in which you feel wealthy and super rich and Mordor is gonna be the key in the situations as he's building up the troll cage already and all he gotta do is recruit two mountain trolls to get the troll cage to level two and the drummer troll is going to be potentially the mvp in all of these battles and fights Rohan is capturing the outpost it will be difficult for us to catch up every single action, so we need to always take a look into the minimap and make sure that we don't miss any important battle. Okay, so... I mean, this map, Horandor, definitely not a symmetrical map. It's kind of awkward, the lineup, uh, line you know. We have the left side versus the right side, but the opponents are very, very close to each other. And when it's, when it's Isengard, a very mobile faction, with the infantry being super fast and quick, but the teamwork is essential, and the Rohirrim from the Red Rohan player will help out Treebeard, the Blue Isengard player at the bottom left side a little bit, and they should be able to defend this. Rohan is going to be incredible rich in those situations, but usually you want to go for Eoma Theodian combination, because creeping is super easy on this map, and with that also uh, getting your heroes to a very respectable level. In this case, we are talking about the Rohan heroes, Theodian and Eoma. Rank 4 is the is the big power spike. For Theodian, it's going to unlock the Glorious Charge. For Eoma, it's going to unlock the Horse Lord leadership. Will make it a bit easier. But Rohan is going for the map control heavy build, right? He's going to go for the second outpost already, building countless amount of farms and making sure that he will keep up with the wealthiness of the evil factions, which are their main strength. It's the only... One and only a good faction in those in this game because we have only evil and there is only one Rohan. We will have uh, fire arrows very very soon on this army. Lords rank one, but that's gonna be changed once the drama troll is gonna be joining the area. Drama troll will make it also easier for your heroes to level up because of the combat experience it will provide to your army. And with your uh, army being you know buffed up with the combat experience, your heroes will passively level up way faster too. Elma has been recruited. You want to give the last hit to Elma to get him to rank 3, but he didn't do that, unfortunately for him. The outpost at the bottom right can be captured by the um, White Isengard player. He can go for Triple Furnace to make sure that you can, you know, pump out armies, but also go for Saruman pretty much simultaneously. Fox is pinging this, and he's like, okay, we need to take care of this army as soon as possible before it became, becomes too deadly, too strong. Mordor going for the outpost control, has a couple of trolls up on the field. Remember, in 2.2 you can invest 900 for the attack troll upgrade to get your trolls to rank 2 immediately. That's a huge buff for the trolls. It will also enable their auto healing out of combat. And fire all purchased. Now they're gonna hit way, way differently. This army needs the support of the drummer troll though. Again, in team games, but especially in 3v3, 4v4, the leadership is, uh, you know, the key to victory. And with a small army, 
but with enough leadership you can you know pretty much be, uh, beat up every big army without leadership Elma is riding with his Rohirrim to the top side of the map it looks like they want to go for a push but remember he, he will have to fight with lots of Rohirrim uh, with lots of pikemen I mean and also with lots of trolls that's not going to be an easy thing to achieve Lord Creeping, he is rank 3 already, that's pretty good. Creeping, this will bring him to rank 4. Super close to the leadership for even greater amount of damage power. The Outpost has no protection though. He has no troll guarding this area. So Gimli Dock will be potentially... And I mean, Legion will be able to take down the Outpost, but that comes the Witch King. Do not touch my Outpost. And look at this shining, bro. Now the damage is gonna come in crap clutch no heavy armor on this army though but remember the drummer troll is enough to compensate the lack of armor from the heavy armor the second drummer troll makes sure that even if you lose one of them the second one will still be there to provide leadership but there is a saruman and the lords lords will cripple the other lords and there comes the big seal uh, two combos have been stolen and these two combos will slaughter the remaining combos even one of the drummer trolls was stolen that's a very great bomb tongue from the Saruman. And of course, one of the wizards, which is able to turn the and change the outcome of the game and outcome of the battle. And Witch King has been taken down as well, by the way. That's kind of very unfortunate for the for the right side team. If Eowyn, boom, what a blast by the young wizard Saruman. He's getting to rank almost 8 already. Rank 10 is going to unlock the Thunderbolt, a very powerful ability from the wizard. You know, pretty much hitting his heart. Is the war of power from Ganav. But there is another army with a couple of trolls. Uh, and Wormtongue has a very long cooldown, right? You need to be waiting for four and a half minutes before you can use it again. And if the Isengard player was paying attention, you can always try to dodge the Wormtongue. And you want to always make, make sure that you cripple the enemy Saruman. Super important. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so what's the plan? The plan is to push. Lourdes, almost rank 5. Drummer Troll, 50% damage. He has Saruman 2, 3 combos. I have Sauron Warchant, plus Drummer is 150% more damage. And Lourdes is going to make it even more difficult. There comes the Tainted Land. I don't know who used it, actually. Um, I hope not the right side team. That would be a major mistake. But it looks like that's their land. Rohirrim are looking for a potential engagement. But, oh my goodness, what... I think he got crippled. That's why he's not moving. Kill Theoden. In those situations, you want to kill the heroes first. Theoden is literally in front of your face. The trolls are decimating the Rohirrim army, though. And he couldn't... And, you know, not couldn't. He didn't. So right click on Theoden. If he did right click on him for like two seconds, he would have been dead by now. Okay? But Lords got rank 5. Remember, T uh, Witch King is still down and there comes the big war chant. Look at them glow, boys. You know, maybe put on your sunglasses because it might kind of crush your eyes, okay? The army is not to be joked with. In the meantime, this army is also building up again. He's going to get his Lords back from the graveyard. Look this. Oh my god, we missed this. That's a one-shot potentially. Degolas. A very, ooh, looking for a potential trample, but the land will immediately be covered. Drummer troll, what a mistake, and there comes the fireball. Oh my god, they are being sandwiched. The Witch King back from the graveyard to support the army, but Lourdes is face tanking. In those situations, hero focus is essential. And he's looking, the Mooma kid is coming too, what is going on? Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Witch King, Warchan has been reused. And the drummer, uh, the Mooma kill maybe will decimate this army. Aragorn has to be careful, he's gonna get knocked back. But the Mooma is running into the army from his ally, but will not punish them. Lord's still alive, barely. Only like one person is remaining. But one person, you are still good to go. The Rohir marches were able to crush all of these Mooma kills. The drummer is gonna come, but how you wanna defend this? The drummer has to be careful. You don't want to kill lords, 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 lords. Sarma, 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 Sarma. I don't know what, 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 is, what is the focus. Beautiful rank 9. Kaboom, son. Thunderbolt on your face, boy. Let's go. What a defense. And what a, what a really, I mean, you need to right click on the right thing. That's the least you can, you need to do to win the game. And all this white Isengard player had to do is right-click on the stuff you need to kill first. 
hero focus dude with lord leadership watch and i drummer and witch king you can legit one shot everything but it's not called balrog i'm telling you like this Saruman would have been getting one shotted and that's a very important uh, ability by the way thunderbolt it kind of magic damage is hard to counter okay magic damage is one of these abilities that's able to deal damage like a true damage kind of thing to literally everything they touch that's why also you know ganoff is able to kill balrog because balrog is taking no damage from arrows from swords and from horses not even from trolls but it takes damage from magic and thunderbolt is magic it's a very strong magic and mordor is doing what he's supposed to do of course the positioning of the drama troll could be also a little bit improved i think witch king is still alive um and that's a huge mordor army by the way what is this army boy oof three Muma kills three drama trolls and two trolls remember we increased the amount of uh, command points you actually have in 3v3 44 games that's why you are able now to have a bigger army just to have like a more epic battle talking about this epic battle look at the rohirrim army ultra strong should not be underestimated Erwin is also up on the field they are looking to commit on this army and rain is active you can see there is no glow he's gonna cripple the saruman fireball you are fired lords you are my servant you did a great job but it's time to end this once and for all oh what a dead I would love to see Glorious Charge, rank 2, Theorin, two more ranks for missing. What is... Can we not have peace, you and I? Two Saruman's talking to each other. Gimli is also that beautiful blast incoming. In the meantime, the counter push, rank 6, the outpost will be taken down. And we I never could take a look into the power points because there is non-stop action. Ooh, the steel, but he will get killed for this. Can we not make peace, you and I? Eoma is also ranked 2, Aragorn is fighting, one does not simply walk into Isengard, Aragorn, but too much magic, Hulk Strike, Fireball. Ooh, there, there are two Nazgûs and the Witch King, I think Rain is still active, there comes the Atelas from Aragorn, we have also the Leap Attack from Gimli available, there comes the Steel from this Saruman, and the rank 10, boys, rank 10. Something you don't get to see very often. But can he defend this while all of this is happening? This Isengard might be abandoned. If he doesn't receive any help from his allies, he might get crushed. This rank 10 Saruman is toying with them. Oh, but the Muma, the Muma, 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 Oh my god, he's gonna charge into... Oh no, 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 not this direction, bro. Wrong direction, he's gonna trample his own Muma kill, bro. Did you... Guys, did you ever see a Muma kill trampling a drama troll? Ooh, rank 5, the Saruman has been taken down. The, I, I, I can't, I just can't. Maybe I need to cast this game more than once to not miss all of these actions, you know? Oof, the ends, though. They just get summoned and they get immediately crushed. Rank 9 combos. Boy, oh boy. Is anybody close to Badrock? Actually, everybody is kinda close to Balrog beside Fox, the Isengard player. Legion is super close to EOD too. Saruman has been crippled, cannot move. And will go down, eventually. Give it to Lourdes. Lourdes got the... From rank 1 to rank 5, by the way. Holy. Holy, that's a very important leadership. When you zoom in into the land, you can see the white animation on the land. So that will tell you that's the land from the white Isengard player at the bottom right. That's why the blue Isengard player has no leadership fighting on this area. He's gonna go for the drama troll. Super important again. The focus is the key to victory. You need to prioritize the right targets, you know? Which one you wanna take down first? Which one you wanna you have to take down first? In the meantime, the Rohirrim army are planning to make a get a visit done on the Isengard bees. And they have been in um, you know in party with uh, Mary Rock, Brandybuck, Aragorn, Gimli, Legolas. The three hunters are also joining the battlefield. That's a road damage, and the bees might go down with a rank 10 Rohirrim warrior too. Eowyn is back from the graveyard, and Eowyn also... And he might lose the entire base. He has an outpost at the bottom. He might go for the outpost. He needs to go for the outpost. If he doesn't go for the outpost, he will be defeated. There comes the Mumaki party. Boom, 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 boom. But he just got the outpost at the last possible second to not be defeated. The Mumakiels, can they save the day though? The army is coming back, but they have no leadership. Theoden has been crippled, so he cannot move. He will go down. 
In the Vice Isengard player should be easily able to recapture the beast, but that's the mobility advantage of the good factions, right? That you have the chance to punish your opponent for not being in the right spot. In this Isengard player playing kind of his own game, unfortunately he doesn't get the spot from his ally, no drum. I mean, he got drum in the last fights, but he might still be able to deal a lot of damage to the Isengard player at the top left side. Fox might even go down because all the outposts are under control from Rohan. Rohan is the uh, true, uh, you know, money maker in this game. Outpost captured, captured, that's the third outpost for Rohan. Remember, that's the good factions. Um, most beneficial way of the sustain from the well. You can take unfavorable fights and then you get just back to your well and regenerate up to full HP. That's their main strength and main advantage over the evil factions, which need to just stall and wait for the units to respawn by themselves, which of course will take much, much longer time. Rain has been used. That's a very scary Rohirrim army, boys. The steal, but the hard focus, bro. You cannot steal this, by the way. That's just too much. You want to place your Saruman behind your army to just provide leadership. All the heroes are going down, and I think Rohan is getting so many power points from this battles, boys. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, he indeed has unlocked the Offbreakers from the Spellbook. He will have a major spike when it comes to push for the next time or defend for the next time. Just go for the structures, maybe. I mean, in those situations when you know you cannot win the fight, um, you want to finish what you have started. And your mission was to destroy this Isengard camp, and you could have done it, you know? Just ignore the army. This Isengard is building up an army, Warfi of Mordor. Oof. Rank 10 combos, but remember, the EOD is, you know, cooked. It's available, might be used to decimate all of this army, and will be also the case. EOD showing what it's made of. We fight. We fight. As the king of the dead would like to say. And Rohan is, um, of course, helping his ally out quite a lot. We'll go for the beast, but there is no follow-up. The beast should be kind of safe. In the meantime, he's going for a counter push to the Isengard player at the top right. The only thing he's missing is the glorious charge, though. And he, but he has Elma leadership. There comes the cloud break because EOD gets you so many additional power points. The rank five troll is going to be slowed down, but it's going to still be able to punch you. Ooh, the hero is running it down. I think that was Elvin. You know, get touched by the by the pikeman. Oof, the rank five troll will get fired from this Saruman rank seven. And now the blue Isengard player Treebeard is going for a counter push. Legolas hitting like an absolute trunk, uh, tr not trunk, truck. That's the word, bro. I don't know what to say. There is so much action happening. Aragorn Gimli. Ooh, a wizard is under my feet. In the meantime, though, Gimli and Aragorn. There is an explosive mine. Put it down. It is not enough. He's taking a lot of damage from the towers. Everything is shooting at him. Aragorn, if he doesn't heal, will go down. The movement kill is too dangerous. And who is close? Treebeard is ultra close to the Valrog, by the way. Three power points needed. And Jokam needs two power points. Gimli Dog. Oh my goodness. Okay. And the Isengard player at the top right needs still ten power points. Fox needs actually even more. Who is Fox? This player? Yeah, Fox needs a lot. He is kind of poor too. He cannot even rebuild his uh, Tita. He's not making any money, boys. He's making some money from some place, but barely. Oof, I, war chant. I. The ends are going to war. Ultra fiesta is happening. Ultra fiesta is happening. There comes the fireball. The Nazgul. That, that was the Witch King. Uh, there was a Nazgul. Dude, kill the ants, please, bro. Can you... Would you please kill the ants? He's gonna steal them. Why would you kill them if you can steal them and make them fight for you? I take everything back what I just said, bro. In the meantime, the count push at the top side. Remember, this player is ultra poor. If he falls, it's gonna turn... from The 3v3 is gonna turn into a 2v, 2v3 situation. You're in. Kill, 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 kill. Oof, what a fine hit. What an ultra fine head. Treebeard is ultra close to a Badrock. A quarter power points needed for the for the demon of the ancient world. And Jokam has already unlocked the Badrock. That's the player at the bottom right we are watching right now. He might summon it right there. But in, in a dream world, you want to summon it to finish the job of getting to finish a player. But in this case, Rohan will be hard to be finished. He has double outpost control, triple outpost control, actually. And this army... I mean, here's money, though. That's why you need to always go for the second, even a third Uruk pit. 
just to pump out army over and over again oof, for a fine oof to Balrog to boom chaka laka Mary cannot withstand the power of the of the Maya you know Durin's been ladies and gentlemen Durin's been it's a pain and I can't get it done with the BFME commentary I can still be going into the rapping scene okay who's Eminem who's Eminem Yimli is getting knocked down. But also, um, the other player, that's gonna be the Tree Beard, is gonna also have his Balrog now. This, by the way, has been taken down entirely. Is somebody defeated though? Let me take a look into this. No, everybody is playing. So Fox has to have somewhere our outpost, which kind of keeps him alive in this in this game. Because he just lost his a camp. Here's outpost there. That's what keeps Fox alive in this game. If he loses the outpost... Son! Oof, 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 oof. Nice dodge. Kinda. The Balrog of Morgoth. Going inside the jeans. Here comes the breath fire. Oof, what a fine hit. But you cannot finish the production buildings rank 3. It's not possible. You need... I mean, you can not one-shot it. You can finish them, of course. But not one-shot them. The Muma is... Killing yet another drama troll. A lot of drama trolls were hurt in this video, boys. Do not try this at home. Do not try this at home. Oof. Pump out more army, bro. Just pump out. That's all you gotta do. He's gonna capture the outpost. Uh, the, I mean, the, the camp has been recaptured by Fox. That's the original owner of this. I mean, I like the Mumu kill spam from the Mortal player. He's contributing a lot to the fa fight. Legion has to now has the second summon, and Mordor is also getting surprisingly close to the um, to the Balrog. Usually, Mordors don't get too much. Maybe instead of Mumu kills going for the catapults, would have been getting a bit more. Oh, son. Okay, never mind. I take it back. Maybe the Mumu kill is the way to go, bro. Because now Mordor has also his Balrog. It's kind of crazy. His Mumu kills everywhere. How many Mumu kill pen does this guy have? Double Mumma Kill Pen technology. Rank 3 Mumma Kill Pen will pump out level 2 Mumma Kills, by the way. That's why they are also a bit tankier. It's not about their damage, because if they ever trample you, you will die in a second. So they are not supposed to deal damage. They are just supposed to be a bit tankier with the rank 2. And it's very hard to and annoying to play against them, because even if you burst them, they will sometimes go on Rampage, and you need to respect it. You know what I'm saying? Balrog is available. We will have multiple Balrogs, multiple EODs now, very soon. And this game isn't over yet. Um, this player has to... Uh, I, I don't want to know how much money does he have. Let me take a look into this. Uh, he doesn't have actually that much money, bro. He lost his Saruman before. We'll go back at it. The outpost has been captured now by the White Isinger player. And you need to push. That's a huge army from Rohan. Mordor might go for the Balrog summon underneath of this... I do. I just have crazy game knowledge, and I'm telling you, boom, son, the Rohirrim don't stand a chance. Legolas can just run because arrows and swords are not for use anymore in this fight against this creature. It's gonna fly like a butterfly, stitch like a bean. Put on your whip. Get over here, wizard. And that's gonna clarify the question which Maya is stronger. And what would have happened if Saruman would be instead of Gandalf the one who's gonna fight put a fight against Against the Balrog. Okay, the EOD has been used to kinda crush the army, but what Treebeard has to offer here is not capable of destroying the whole camp itself. EOD going for the Zita will take it down, definitely. But there are like 5, 10, 15, 20, 50,000 Mumma kills you need to go and break through. And he's gonna ditch out more and more. Remember with the Call the Heart technology, which Mordor player can go for later on, you can pump out even more and more Mumma kills in a faster pace. And this is the longest 3 v 3 bro. What the heck? How many Balrogs, how many EODs we will, we will get to see? Nobody is able to finish each other. Maybe there's like an agreement they made. Okay, guys, we need to fight, but we, we are not allowed to finish up each other, you know? Like, too many Mumma kills, bro. Look, this guy has to cripple. Oof, 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 oof. A lot of Mumma kills. How many Mumma kills would you like to see? Yes. 
Yes. Ooh, he might go this direction. He won't go this direction. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> this is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, bro. Ooh. But the Rohan army is coming, and he's gonna even build up the Entmut. Ents will be summoned. Three V3s, if you wanna see every kind of. Oh my god, will he trample the Ents too? The ants are actually... Look the damage of the ants, boys. I'm telling you, the ants are hitting like an absolute truck. They are being slipped on. They are definitely one of the strongest beings when it comes to the raw damage power. Ants are also way stronger than trolls. But of course, ants cannot get as much leadership as trolls do. But if you don't know, the drummer troll gives leadership to the ants. So in a 2v2, when you play Mordor and maybe Rohan combination, um, you might go for a uh, ant spam technology and ask your ally to give you drummer troll and also darkness will also affect the ants oof i think the thunderbolt we missed it that's the animation of the thunderbolt the green one it's like what it left what it leaves after it's done but this player is being attacked from multiple sides the balrog is going to be summoned defensively nice dodge by the blue isengard player aragorn might get whipped on but he needs to fly on the on the on the Rohirrim warriors. Boom! Land on the ants and go for a breath fire. Woo! Dwarves should have not digged that deep, bro. That's what you get for your greed. That's what you get, son. The Nazgûls are on the hunt for the king of the West. There comes the double heal. Atelas plus plus heal from the from the spearbook. In the meantime, this Isengard player is attacking this dude. Oh my god, he killed his own stuff. He killed his, oh my god, he knocked down his own ally stuff. I cannot believe it. You know, that's the downside of the Mimikyas. Everything that's powerful has to have some weaknesses. Lords, rank 5. Another one. <laughs> this is Ultra Fiesta. Ultra Fiesta. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more 3v3s on this channel. Almost ranked 9, by the way. Almost ranked 9. And if also, if you enjoyed this, make sure to smash the like button to make me know that you enjoyed this. Saruman, maybe get ranked 5, 9 somehow, bro. Nah. Nah, nah. He couldn't. He can't get it. But still, nobody's defeated so far. This Balrog will not be able to finish off the whole castle or camp. And the Mordor player is still an outpost though, so he, even if he would be able to finish off the camp, Mordor would not be defeated. But this player might lose his camp. However, he has the outpost at the bottom right, and that's a very strong army of Rohirrim warriors. Uh, that's an ultra strong army, and I still cannot believe it that all this game, after 50 Balrog summons, 129 EOD summons, this dude, Kyorin King, is still not ranked. He just got it, as I talked about it. He just got to unlock his glorious charge for the, for the first time in this game. And it's a very, very strong Rohirrim army, boys. It's an ultra strong Rohirrim army. Everybody has unlocked everything. I mean, this guy was able to finish off the camp, but you see, they kind of... Even though it was a 3v3, the main focus was the bottom side, and the Rohan player made what he was supposed to do. And that's, you know, realizing that the enemy team can't win, the right side team will leave the game, and the left side team, the Rohan, Aizen, Aizen combination was able to win the 3v3, and what makes it a bit more impressive is that the other side had Mordor. However, though, remember two Freezing Reigns kind of countering the Mordor player. Mordor did a very great job and had a very strong performance with the Mumu kill. It was really fun to cast this. If it was to watch this, then subscribe to the channel to not miss future uploads on this channel. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.